up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Nothing New Under the Sun. I'm Sweets. What the fuck is that creaky sound? I don't know. I thought it was you something you were doing. Doesn't matter. Who are you? I'm Goddess Keys. Fuck it. Those are my squeaky ass headphones. Anyway, if you're oh. new here, which most of you probably are, we take 15 <laughs> minutes, we pick some topics, we talk our shit about them, say what we think. And that's about it. Y'all get to listen. So we're starting Yay. off with why are like Nancy Pelosi, what are they, what are they called? Like Senate, is it Senate and Congress who could, or Senate yes. and the House that can be voted out? Senate, Senate and Congress Senate or Congress. Senate and House. I don't know. House and Senate. Oh. Yeah. Okay, cool. They're all, con- <laughs> they're all Congress people though, I think. See, I'm just learning this shit. Like most everyone's just learning a lot because who gives a fuck most of the time? I do. Now, vote her out. <laughs> I, I'm saying before. Before, like, oh, who really no. cared? Not me. So, I mean, but you, you were saying, I mean, you had a good point on that. Why they are not worried about their jobs, but most Americans are? Yeah. And what's your take on it? Because Americans will not vote them out. They won't um, get up off their asses and do it. They won't. They won't vote. And if they do vote, they vote. And oh, I think she's doing okay. So I'll just vote her in, or 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 they'll skip over that that section on the ballot because they don't they don't know they don't know her from Adam. True. When my grandma took me, my grandma took me to vote the first time. My grandma took me, no, my grandma took me to caucus, right? I didn't even Mm -hmm. know what the fuck that was. That was the wackest shit I've ever been a part of. I will never do that again as an adult. I was a fresh 18. I love my grandma. So she's like, let's go caucus. So we went to my high school, bro. It was, and this was when like George Bush was running against somebody back in the day. So it's like. Bro, I didn't really give a fuck. I really didn't. I wasn't invested then. I mean, I'm way more invested now because, like, I understand things. But most of, like, the kids they're trying to get to vote and just most people in general, nobody knows what the fuck's what. Nobody knows what's going on because you're too concerned with your own life to understand the government like that, you know? Yeah, pretty much. They don't make sure we all understand and know all the parts of that shit and what's going on. They don't. They don't want us to know that shit. Because if we know, then we could vote for them to be gone. I still don't. I'm going to be real with you. I still don't get voting. What don't you get? Like, how that shit can't be completely cheated and fucked up every single time. So, like, why does it really? I'm still kind of that nigga, like, why the fuck does my vote count? Like, I'll still do it, but it seems silly as hell when it's like, we live in this evil ass world. You're telling me they can't do some bullshit to get their way? Like, I feel like they do that anyway. Uh, They do, but, you know, it, it, I don't know. I mean, yeah, there is, there's cheating in the elections. Um, there, there, there is, she's 80? Damn. Who's 80? <laughs> Who's 80? Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. And she's worried about other people's health and shit? Bruh, you got to keep your eyes on the motherfucking ball. You're wilding. I didn't know that. That's insane. She was born March 26th of 1940. She was born right before my grandma. And mine. This motherfucker is Trump's elder. This is insane. Like, <laughs> I never looked to see you looked that up. I never looked too deep. But then that makes a lot of sense. Like, they, now you just seem like a big ass hater. Are you mad? Because he said, I mean, there's a lot of speculation. I don't know why you're mad, but you seem pissy. Now, now that I'm like, you're 80 years old and like, you're just on fuck shit. But that also explains to me why her attitude may be so, eh, whatever. <laughs> like, you know, 80 year olds get like that. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, yeah. you know, 80 year old, 80 year old people, they're way more. I don't give a fuck than a 20, a 20 year old fake doesn't give a fuck. Deep down, they do. You're scared. An 80 year old's like, I don't give a shit for real. <laughs> yeah. 
guess how much she's worth according, uh, if, to, if the inter, uh, according to the internet. Say some nonsense like five million dollars. A hundred and twenty million dollars. Well, that's closer to the real number that I thought it was. I was like, if they don't start at a hundred, they're wild. Yeah. But she's lived in California. That's how they would justify her having that amount of bro. And, and, and that's the craziest shit. When I heard somebody on, I think Twitter was like, yo, you know how they always said, if you can, in New York, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. The motherfucker was like, if you can ball in California, you can ball anywhere in the country. I said, those are the facts. <laughs> yeah. There's broke motherfuckers in California that would come here and thrive. True. So uh, I'm just like her, her having that much money far from surprise. And that's just what they're talking about. You know, she, you, you know, it's deeper than that. Oh my goodness. 81. I think I just she picking and shit. What are you doing? I think she took office back in 1981. How old was she then? Mm, how long ago was that? 80. 90, 2000, 2010, almost, almost 41 years ago. Mm. Damn. So she was like 39 taking that office, huh? Yeah. Yeah. If you had been doing the same shit for over 40 years, tell me you wouldn't be under like hypnotic rhythm and you wouldn't just be flowing with the motion. Like me, like I'm not worried about nothing at that point. Are you? No. If I've been doing something for 40 years, bro, I'm going to get to walk out of this shit on my own two feet. I can almost assure you of that. Yeah. He's deep in the game. And it's just like, man, but that's why, that's how most of them are. And that's why, you know, what it, it, it I don't know. She, I get exhausted thinking about this shit. Well, she's been working in politics since 19. 1976 that is two years after I was born so I was two two years old when she got into that office so she's basically been in there your whole life let's just call it that yeah so yeah that's what I'm saying how can you expect her to feel any kind of fear or anything every so many years or whatever she's and one i feel like there was a point maybe she did give a fuck back in the day but i think there was a point that she hit that she's like come on <laughs> come on they know what they're gonna do we know what we're gonna do you know what i'm saying everybody knows the goddamn drill in the deal that's just common knowledge and once it gets to that point dangerous and that's in anything that's that's working at McDonald's. If you just know you're gonna get to flip the burgers and shit, bro, eventually you're gonna get careless. That shit's gonna get fucked up. You know, that's why it's always better. You know, you get your best shit from people fresh, not once they're settled in and they feel entitled to shit. You know, that's just across the board in life. Yeah. But I hope they do vote them out like you say, but I doubt it. I think. <laughs> Maybe I should start a vote them out petition. <laughs> I'm sure someone's beat you to that. If they haven't, I'd be in shock. And then, no, I'm positive someone's on vote them out, but I'm like, well, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter because, see. yeah, definitely look that up. But I mean, people are mad at Kanye right now for him showing. He said one of his friends wrote him in on the ballot, I think, because, you know, I posted the ballot with him on there. I was like, do you know how fucking crazy this is that Kanye West, bro, I remember buying this dude's CD at Best Buy as a teen and bumping that shit. And like, that's where he came from to being a presidential candidate? Like, seriously? Like, what? It should show anybody who's just confined to like, a cubicle, a warehouse, some job you don't want to be at where you're just making ends meet, bro, you can get the fuck out. Do whatever you want. This shit is a game. <laughs> Break the fuck free. If you see Kanye West on the ballot, like, 
of a presidential election in real life, that showed me all bets are off. Yeah. <laughs> There's no rules. I would agree. I would agree. When I tell my kids they can be anything they want, I actually have proof now. I'm like, no, nigga, it's real. Like, you yeah. can definitely do shit. What? You want to start a clothing? Anything. What do you want to do? Think of the biggest shit. You can do that shit. Like, our daughter, she talks about being a superhero, and I kind of got pissed <clears throat> off at her. Like, bro, come on, get back in bounds. But see, that's my old thinking. I don't know what the fuck's going to be going on. I really don't. And that's not wild right now. But if I told you niggas two years ago, you'd be wearing masks every fucking where you, you just said, stop smoking what you're smoking, stop drinking what you're drinking. So, true. Hey, we Very don't know true. what the fuck's going on. And that's where I feel weird kind of trying to put my cap on shit because, hey, I'm coming from where I'm coming from, but we're all in a place we've never been before. So, shit, I got to open my mind up, you know? True. Speaking of that, we just watched the the Lakers, what was supposed to be the final game, turned into the Sunday fucking game. But you know what? I was kind of pissed because, like, you know, I was walking around all day like, yeah, we finna celebrate. I ordered our favorite little pizza spot. I got my little drinks going. I'm feeling good. I'm like, man, I'm excited, man. And then shout out to Kobe and Gigi, RIP. You know what I'm saying? We, we felt that shit in this same year. So for the Lakers to get the championship, bro, it'd be like the circle of life type shit. But, and I told you, I was like, I forgot they had to win the game. Which I think is absolutely ridiculous. I just felt like, bro, you'd have thought I was going to the fucking parade. Like, I was just like, it's over. I saw Snoop on Instagram. He was celebrating. I was like, it's a wrap in these streets. Life had other plans. And that's the type of shit I've been working to, like, accept and deal with. But I don't know. That shit. We'll see. We'll see. But I said, we'll see Sunday. I'm actually glad they're playing Sunday because it gives me, like, not only something to look forward to, but like a sense of normalcy. You know? How does that make you feel normal? Watching the finals. I don't know. It's, it's, even though there's no fans, like I was into it. You saw me. I was up. I was intense. Like I had money on the game. Like this is, this was a year ago. Like I always get intense around the finals, you know? Cause you always have money on the game. <laughs> but I don't even have money on the game this year. Yeah, this year you don't. And, but I'm still like into it because of what it represents in it's two ways. You don't need to have money on the game. I know. I always said I got to have a little money <laughs> on the game to keep the shit interesting. But it's that wasn't true because the truth is like it's the excitement of like when I see motherfuckers at their top level competing on that level, it reminds me. You got shit to do. Take that level of intensity into what you got to do. Mamba mentality. Stop being a fucking punk. Like, whatever you're punking about, like, stop that shit. Move through it. Let's go. Let's go. And, like, it, it helps turn me up, you know? Yeah. It can. So get one more game, especially, like, in October, which is crazy as fuck. We should not be watching the finals in October, according to, like, all the years of my life. But... It feels good after a fucked up year like this. It just feels good to have something to kind of hold on to. Well, I don't think it was a fucked up year. Oh, okay. That's true. I don't think... Okay, and that, that's the thing. I just say that to go along with the crowd. This year's been pretty dope for me and you and our family. Like, I can't complain. I really can't complain. Not at all. So nope. I, it's only fucked up because the world says it is, I guess. You know, I'm just going with the flow of that. And anyone who's really going through it, and don't get it fucked up. I lost my grandma this year, nigga. Oh, God. That yeah. happened, you know? And that wasn't good. That didn't, still don't feel good. I'm still working through that shit, all that. But there has been good things. I can't just play like it's been gloom and doom. You know? Yeah, and I'm not saying, to for me saying... That this year was a terrible year or it's been a bad year or whatever would mean that I am saying, oh, I didn't enjoy anything that happened this year. And I have enjoyed a lot of things this year. A lot of things that I wouldn't have had the opportunity to do had it had it not gone the way that it went. So, you know, if if there's a little hope 
for anybody that you can get something out of this year, the year's not over. It, it's October something, October the tenth now. The tenth, <laughs> um, the o- October tenth. You have two months, two and a half months, to still get a good start in this year. Yeah. No lie. I, hey, I saw something funny. I saw somebody post, uh, <laughs> what did they say? I want 15K in my bank account by the end of the year. I got a good start. I got $5.06. And on that note, that is the end of our time. Shout out to whoever <laughs> said that. And y'all make sure to like and subscribe and keep fucking with us. We're going to come with some more for y'all. Hope you have a great week, month, all that good shit. See y'all next time. Peace. Bye.